In this lesson, we're going to look at different ways that Pro Tools automatically scrolls the screen. Right now, I have scrolling turned off. That means under my options menu, edit window scrolling, I have no scrolling selected. And let's see what happens. I'm at bar 77 of my song, and 77 is located over here near the right edge of my screen. Let me play the track, and we'll watch the screen. Well, the playback cursor just disappeared. I can see up here it's at bar 82, but I don't see 82 anywhere on my screen. There's a little blue triangle here. If I click that, then 82 will move to the center of my screen. Likewise, if my cursor is, let's say, here, and I scroll to the right, you'll see a triangle pointing to the left that says that my playback cursor at bar 10 is off the screen. I just click that and it's centered on my screen. Now, no scrolling is very nice if you want to stay fixed on a specific area of your screen, but there are a couple other options that you can use. The one that I usually prefer is called Page. Each time Pro Tools gets to the end of the screen, a new page comes into view. In other words, where the cursor is scrolls to the left side of the screen. I'll show you how that works. I'll put my cursor right here at 25, and we'll start playing. If I move over here to the right again and play. And it does that all seamlessly while you're playing. Another choice is after playback. It does just what it says. It waits until the playback stops and then it scrolls. Let's watch what happens. I'm over on the right hand side of my screen. the current location is centered on the screen. There are two other options under scrolling, but they're only available with certain versions of the software. Continuous scrolling is available with HD or LE with the toolkit. And the reason is that it takes some extra processing power to do this. Let me go ahead and choose continuous scrolling and watch what happens when I play. It's like the whole session is scrolling behind my playhead. My playhead is still at the same place, so when I start playing again, and that's different than the final option, which is only available in HD, which is center playhead. Here, the same thing happens. The session moves behind the playhead, but the timeline cursor doesn't move. Watch what happens. My timeline cursor is at bar 90. So my playback will start now at bar 93B2, but my timeline cursor is still over here. And of course, I can scroll to wherever I want and start playback from right there. Let's start right here on the first verse. Here you are, and now let's start in the fourth chorus.